welcome back to video the Python series and in this video video 3 we'll learn some basic Python concepts first off is variables variables can be one of five things a number a line of text a list a dictionary or a class we'll be covering only a number and text in this episode how to make a variable. Just type in whatever you want your variable to call it, an equal sign, and then the value. So to make a string, just type a string equals and, and then enter your string. If you want a number, you type what you want the variable to called, equal sign, number. Variables can also change from one value to another without raising any errors. I like this about Python. You can set a variable named x to 10 and then set it to the string yay and it won't do anything. Then mathematical operations. They can be used to well do math. This is so you can do addition plus sign, subtraction with the minus sign, multiplication with the star, shift eight if you're using a US keyboard, and division backslash right by the left sh right shift key set. You can also use decimal numbers for any of these operations. Now on to strings. You can use strings by putting a double quotation mark, a single quotation mark, or three single quotation marks in a row. The double quotation mark is useful because you can easily contract in it but if you want to quote, you have to put a backslash, which is right above the enter key, in front of each double quotation mark you want the program to ignore. For the single quotation mark, you have to put a backslash in front of each single quotation you want it to ignore. The multiline ignores both double and single quotations, and it's multilined, so you can just press enter and enter a new line. Now on to conversion. To convert a number to a string, you just put str parentheses 10, and then it will output the string 10. To convert something to a regular number, you do int parentheses, then either a string or a decimal. If you input a decimal, it will round it to the nearest one. However, you input the word for a number, it will produce an error. In the last episode, we also covered the print function. The print function can be called directly and it outputs the string or a number. That's all for now.